There's a warrant out for my arrest, Daddy. What am I supposed to do about it? Make him change his mind? How? I don't know. I'm stuck as Are you serious? It might help. God, really? How low are you gonna go? I want you to ejaculate into a plastic bag for which I will pay you $8,000. Yeah, sure. Why not? Look, I got two strikes already, okay? All right? Okay, look, I will ask him to drop the charges, but that's as far as I'm gonna go with it. Okay. Mother, I can't believe how different you look. I had the lap band surgery. How much weight did you lose? 200 pounds. I donated the extra skin to the burn center. That's nice. And I found out later I could have sold it for cash and money. Well, I think you look great. Cliff, you're not going to press charges against Randy, are you? Do you see what he did to me? <gasps> oh. Oh. But we're supposed to drive to Vegas tomorrow to get married. That asshole's going to pay for what he did. Look, I, I really appreciate this. I must say, I was surprised to get your call after the way you left things. I'm sorry, Lyle. This will give you a chance to make it up to me. Yeah, I don't really do that stuff anymore. Of course you do. I paid your bail, now we go back to my lair and you repay me with that exquisite of yours. Lyle, I thought you understood. I'm getting married tomorrow. <laughs> Randy, you're so cute when you play dumb. <laughs> this is the wrong way. <laughs> hi there, man. I need to talk to you. Oh, hi, Mr. Macopian. I got a call from the bank about Janet's rent check. Is there a problem? Well, her signature didn't match the one on file. So you're gonna have to give me another four hundred fifty dollars. Have a nice day. Can I come stay with you for a while? Yeah, sure. What's up? I just can't stand it over there anymore. Wait, Mike, let me explain. What? I saw you with Walter. Well, yeah, but I don't even want him. Too late. I don't want to talk to you right now. Hey, I'm the one who should be mad at you. Oh, great, more f up Walter logic. Oh, come on, I... Ugh, I know. God, you should make him get out. I'm considering it. I'm making a policy not to talk about my other tenants. You wouldn't want me to give Janet your rental agreement. But surely if there was a theft involved. Why don't you call the police? It's a delicate situation. She's currently engaged to my brother. Well, I might help you out if I had the right incentive. Meaning what? I'm a lonely widower. With a jacuzzi. Figure it out. How dare you suggest I'm gonna go to Dr. Hurdoms. Now you be good. We don't want an incident like last time, do we? I'm gonna leave Pazuzu with you so you don't get lonely. Don't say a word about Amber. She is a little angel. Your little angel tried to drown my cat. She said that cat bit her. Oh, now you're just making things up. I don't want you two fighting like this. Viv, you're a meddler, and I'm not gonna stand for it. Takes one to know one, mommy. Okay, here's the ugly truth. I am cutting you off. The allowance that I've been so generous to provide you with, it's all over. Unless you pack your things and go back to Tustin tomorrow morning. Now, Mother... Shut up, Cliff! You were always a lousy mother. And you will be a lousy mother until you drop dead. After careful consideration, I have decided to take you up on your offer. Viv! On one condition. I'm an old-fashioned girl. I like things nice and proper. So if we are to explore the connubial possibilities, you're gonna have to make it legit first. 
I think you just proposed to me. And? Hi, Mr. Kitty. Where did you come from? Are you Irene's cat? Whose cat are you? Irene, your front door is open. Is this your cat? Yeah, black and